third lecture of our example number one, which is a design of gantry gutter. Okay, so students, in the last lecture, we will discuss up to our step number two, which is the maximum bending moment which is generated on gantry gutter. And in the first step, we will discuss about the maximum reaction on a wheel. Okay. So students, let us start our step number three. Now, our step number three is maximum shear force generated in a gantry gutter. So, the name is maximum reaction is generated on gantry gutter. It means you have to find out if your crane gutter is moving like this direction. So, at which point? your reaction will be maximum okay so that is why you have to see your figure from this side okay so this is your gantry gutter having the span of 7.5 meter so this is your span of 7.5 meter now you have to assume that at which point your reaction will be maximum so you all know that if the load is at the center, the reaction will be minimum because the reaction will be distributed on both the end with the similar kind of way. Okay. But if your crane gutter is moving on any one end, either on left side or on right side. Okay. So if your crane gutter is resting on left side, then your left support having the maximum shear force. And if your crane gutter is moving to right hand side then at right support which is called as your RB is having the maximum value okay so let us assume that our crane gutter is stopping at our left support okay so you can see that in step number three okay so in step number three your crane gutter is resting on left side okay so whenever your crane gutter is resting on left side, your one wheel is at this end and your second wheel is at a distance of 3.5 meter because in the question it is clearly mentioned that wheel base is 3.5 meter. Okay. So this wheel having the reaction of 30, sorry, 300.75 kN and the second wheel which is from A support is having also the reaction of 300.75. Okay. So you can see that this is 3.5 meter. Okay. Now this whole length, this whole length is 7.5 meter because in the question it is clearly mentioned that the span of gantry gutter is 7.5 meter in which 3.5 meter is your wheel base then the rest of the distance is 4 meter so this is 3.5 meter and this is 4 meter now as discussed earlier in the last lecture that this wheel is moving on rail section so you have to assume that or it is clearly mentioned that in the question that the sulfate of rail section is 0.3 kN per meter and also your sulfate of gantry gutter is assumed as 1.6 okay so the factor load of gantry gutter and rail section is 2.85 and this 2.85 is distributed over a length of 7.5 meter so students for step number three your figure is ready now this is the first possibility. The second possibility is this is your crane gutter is supported on left side or you are moving on left side. If your crane gutter is moving on right side then this figure is, is transfer, transferred to this side. Okay. So this is your 300.75 and from this point 3.5 meter distance second another wheel is over here. Okay. but you have to assume that your crane gutter is moving on any one side either on left side or on right side so 
for this figure your reaction a is maximum and reaction b is minimum but we have to design any structural member for maximum shear force and bending moment so let us start we will calculate our maximum reaction which is generated on a gantry gutter so that's why your upward force is equal to downward force so you can see that in this figure your upward force is ra and rb your downward force is two point load which is wheel load so it is 300.75 this is another 300.75 plus w into l so it is 2.85 into 7.5 so after putting all this value you will get your answer 622.875 okay so students this is upward force is equal to downward force now you have to find out any one reaction either ra or rb so in this step taking moment at b point it means at this point you have to find out clockwise moment is equal to anti clockwise moment okay so you can see that this ra is reaching at this point with the help of this covering 7.5 meter distance okay so this is clockwise moment so you can see that ra into 7.5 is equal to 300.75 load into perpendicular distance so it is moment so 300.75 into 7.5 plus this throughout udl so throughout udl is for the equation w into l into l by 2 so 2.85 into 7.5 into 7.5 by 2 so it is 3.75 plus this will load is moving to 4 meter distance and reach at this point so it is 300.75 into 4 so students after putting all this value we will get our answer reaction at a is equal to 471.83 kN now this is your ra if we are putting this value into this equation then you will get your answer of rb so your value of rb is 151.045 kN now you can see that whenever your crane girder is supporting on left side then your ra is 471 similarly if your crane girder is supported on right side at that time your reaction at b is 471.83 and at that time your reaction at a is 151.045 okay but you have to design for your gantry girder for maximum reaction so you have to design for 471.83 kN okay now students in the second lecture we are discussing about there is four forces which is acting on gantry girder first one is vertical load which is already calculated in our step number 1 second one is impact load this is also considered in our step number 1 by increasing 25 percentage third one is breaking force and at last it is surge load so the value of breaking force and the value of surge load is calculated in the next slide so you can see that the horizontal force or the horizontal force is also called as surge load so the equation of surge load is 10 percentage of total point load which is lifted by crane girder so it is hook load plus crab load crab means trolley okay so 10 percentage of hook load so how much loads can hook can be lift so hook can lift the maximum capacity of crane and the maximum capacity of crane is given as 200 kN okay so 200 plus 40 so you will get your answer 240 so 10 percentage of 240 so you will get your answer 24 kN now this 24 kN loads will be taken by this four 1 2 3 and 
all the four wheels okay so you can see that this load is shared by four wheels now if 24 kN is taken by four wheel then how much value of load is taken by a single wheel so it is 24 divided by 4 so you will get your answer 6 kN now this 6 kN is your unfactored load so your factored surge load is 9 kN similarly you have to find out braking force so the equation of braking force is 5 percentage of static wheel load now what is static wheel load static wheel load means maximum reaction of wheel okay so you are moved to step number one so you can see that this is your step number one which is maximum wheel load so your maximum wheel load is also your static wheel load in which you have to find out two values RA and RB in which your maximum answer is 320.81 so this 320.81 is your static load okay so you can see that 5 percentage of static wheel load so 5 percentage of 320.80 so you will get your answer 16.04 kN but this 16.04 kN is also your unfactored load. So your factor load is 24.06 kN. Okay. So students, this is the end of your step number 3. Now we are moving further to our step number 4. So we are using our step number 2 and step number 3 which is maximum bending moment in gantry gutter and maximum shear force in gantry gutter. Now we have to select our section based on maximum bending moment and maximum shear force. Okay. And you all know that you have to design any structural component for the maximum bending moment. So our maximum bending moment is 681.85 kN into meter. So you have to select your section like your selected section is taking or your selected section is restrained minimum 681.85 kN into meter moment. Okay. So now let us start our step number 4 which is section selection. So first of all you all aware about how many types of sections are useful for practical point of view. So practical point of view, there is three members is useful while we have to design gantry gutter. So first is I plus C. This is I section. So this is your I gutter. And on I gutter, there is channel section is fitted on the top of the I section. So this is your first section. Your second section is I plus C plus base plate is connected on the bottom okay all the structures like this but your base plate is connected on the bottom of I section and third is I plus C plus base plate connected on both the sides on the base of the I section and on the top of the I section okay but for your syllabus only this section is in your syllabus so it is i plus c okay so students this is practically this is the type of section which is useful in our market properties okay so first of all whenever we have to select our section there is two fundamentals are there first one is economical depth of gutter Gutter means this is only I section, not any C channel. Okay. So, economical depth of gutter. So, it is capital L by 12. Now, what is capital L? Capital L is span of gantry gutter. So, the span of gantry gutter is 7.5 meter. So, it is 7500 divided by 12. So, it is 625 mm. It means you have to select your section having the maximum depth of 625 mm 
not more than 625 mm because if you are selecting more depth then it is fail in buckling okay so you have to choose your total depth of section having less than 625 mm so in this example i am choosing the depth of section is 600 mm second is width of flange so you all know that this is flange and this is wave so the width of flange is in the range of L by 40 to L by 30. Now the value of L is 7.5. So it means your selected section's width of flange is in the range of 187.5 to 250 mm. Okay. And our main third component is ZP. So, the equation of Zp is k into mu by fy in which the value of k is in the range of 1 to 1.5. So, it is 1.4 into mu. mu means maximum bending moment for which you have to design for gantry cutter. So, it is 681.85 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 250. So, students. Your third answer is 3820 cm3. Now, in the next lecture, we are selected our section in the basis of these three criteria. First one is your selected eye section having depth of less than 625 mm. Your selected eye section's flange of width is in the range of 187.5 to 250 mm. And third is your selected section which is I plus C having the value of ZP greater than 3820 cm3. Okay. So students, in the next lecture, we are selected our section. So students, this is the end of today's session. Thank you.